Thank you very much and thank you very much for being still with us. We had over 770 people in our session today, still about 180 or 190 left now for, for my few closing words. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to, to all the speakers and panelists and moderators. I would like to very briefly close with a statement of where to go from here, switching from our always same dark forest, so to speak, to more colorful ones to show us that we, we can control these technologies, we can develop them in ways that benefit us. I think what today showed is that just intelligent enough intelligent may be more disruptive at this stage than the artificial general intelligence of the near or very distant future. We believe, and that's of course the reason for organizing this session, that our community has a lot to contribute to this and that we either help shape the next 5, 10, 15 years positively with an open mind and full of energy or those 5 or 10 years of progress will shape us as a domain. And personally, I do believe, and I'm not ashamed to say that I'm an enthusiast that there's a lot of exciting work ahead of us if we do this in, in ethical ways. So Mark mentioned something in the first panel several times that really resonated with us as organizers and that we have thought about before when we set up these, these slides as closing slides, was that this has to be a community of effort, not only to be inclusive, not only to represent the full breadth of cultures and, and geographic thinking and uh, different geographic regions, but also because it's impossible to fund this otherwise. And we see that other communities, like for instance, physics and astrophysics, they need together because the instrumentation is so expensive that not a single project can pay for this. All these experiments last so long until space probes are built. I think we are at the stage where we may want to do the same, where we may want to jointly, and therefore thank you for many, the many hundreds of us or few that showed up, where we can jointly converge on the research agenda for the GeoAI or geofoundational models of the near future. We as organizers would like to facilitate this in two ways. First of all, given the, the feedback that we received from you before the live discussions, both on stage and there were whole side chat discussions that were quite interesting. We believe there's interest in more in this series. We could have a technical session on geofoundation models. In fact, we are approached to do one already. Many of us I know are also interested in combining this kind of foundation models and generative AI with knowledge graphs. And there's a big push, as you may know, for geographic knowledge graphs. There were many discussions today about the role for education. There could be a session on this. And of course, this is about you. This is for you. We are just here to facilitate. So we are waiting your future ideas for the next sessions in this series, not only in providing those ideas, but also in suggesting people to speak, joining us as, as a team of organizers. We really want to make this a, a community effort. And lastly, I think it would be good for us to put something in writing that all of us can, or many of us can contribute to that represents the wide diversity of thoughts of communities brought in here. So we are hoping to turn this into a joint community paper. We are thinking about something more than just the the white papers that many of us have produced because we believe they don't have the impact, they don't reach the audience they should, but we believe that a paper where many of us come together to find a common language describing where we are, where we're going to go into the future, and what methods are at our disposal would be one approach. If you are intrigued by this idea, then please join us. I would like to use the very last minute I have with you here for a little bit of advertisement. Geng Cheng did the same for our special issue. Thanks, Geng Cheng. I would like to do this also for the Spatial Data Science Symposium, which is a distributed online event. So while you can join online in the comfort of your own living room, you can also join one of seven or eight local hubs. So to meet people in your in your neighborhood or at least you know within a couple of hours driving, check out our webpage. 
Um, the, the paper deadline is still open. We have a very exciting program of sessions also about GeoAI. And again, it's online, but it's also local so that we have both the best of both worlds. You can also join us on Slack. Somebody, I think, is posting the URI into the chat right now so that you don't have to, to type this. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for making this such a lively event. Thanks for all the positive feedback we received so far. And of course, most of all, thanks to the panelists, the speakers, and my fellow co-organizers, and a special shout out to Kitty, Tselong, and Marlene, who've been managing all the technology in the background. Yeah, so fabulous. Thank you so much, folks.